Okay, Ananya, I must congratulate you. First attempt, yes, you have sir. come in the interview. Thank you, sir. Excellent. Thank because you. I have seen many candidates struggling. Thank you, sir. So, you, you said 2022 you gave an application but did not appear in the exam. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. And that was some change of strategy. Anyway, yes, uh, you have also studied several subjects geography, in economics, anthropology. You mentioned uh, Yuval Hariri. I've read his books also. He's a wonderful author. Yes. He brings a uh, very interdisciplinary or a uh, lot of wide area of knowledge he puts together. Yes. Now, in anthropology, can you tell me what distinguishes humans from animals? So, the first aspect that distinguishes humans from animals is the enhanced brain capacity, sir. While uh, our nearest primates like gorillas and chimpanzees also have that, ours is numerously uh, evolved, sir. That is the first thing. And that is also what I believe is leading to our advancements in culture and society also, sir. Because of our enhanced brain capacity, we have become tool makers. We have acquired the capacity to speak. And we have also acquired the capacity to form societies and generate narratives like religion, which is nothing but cognitive uh, abilities, sir. So right. that is all this plus uh, the idea to cooperate yes sir, definitely. for common good yes sir, definitely. very good and uh, you studied geography so what are the four countries largest by area so there is Russia there is Canada fourth is United States sir sir I'm not aware of the other one third one Third is US with Alaska and fourth okay. is China. Okay, sir. Thank okay, you, sir. and what is India's rank? Sir, if I'm not wrong, it is seventh. Seventh, good. What's the deepest point in the ocean called? Sir, it's called the Challenger Deep Mariana Trench. Mariana yes. Trench, very good. Okay, now you come from Telangana, right? Yes, sir. Why was Telangana created? Just give me one or two strong reasons for which this movement flourished and then eventually happened? So the first reason is the the spirit of the Telangana people, sir. So uh, Telangana people uh, were uh, thinking that the establishment especially has been discriminatory towards their cultural economic needs and that is one of the reason that has uh, made them to rise against the establishment and sir especially the role of students and other political parties has to be uh, mentioned in maintaining this spirit, sir. Sir, so second, I also believe uh, the safeguards that have been provided for Telangana over the years have been flouted, sir. For instance, there were safeguards with respect to funds, with respect to uh, resources and with respect to water, which are famously called in Telugu as Nilu Nidulu Niyamakalu, which were flouted continuously and that is why uh, it was believed that uh, statehood is something that would benefit the people of Telangana, sir. So, the leader who became eventually Chief Minister for two terms, what's his name? Uh, K. Chandrasekhar Rao, sir. Right, KCR. KCR. Was it a KCR's personal dream to do this and, and cash the success that he achieved in splitting Telangana? His personal dream, which petered out in 10 years, people saw through. Same people have rejected him, right? Yes, sir. So, tell me how he developed the whole idea of Telangana because as an outsider, I have no <laughs> special affinity for one or the other. I know one Andhra yes, where sir. Telangana was the area around Hyderabad and Nizam area. Yes, sir. But then he made it in a movement and then in 10 years people have just lost him or forgotten yes, about him. Yes. Sir. How this happened? Sir, there might be political ambition, sir. I'm not denying that. However, sir, to sustain a movement like Telangana movement for Nearly 20 years, sir. He was uh, popular and he was there in the front for 20 years. I think it required some special genuine intention to create Telangana for the people of Telangana, sir. So, keeping aside his political ambitions, I'm sure that there was some genuine interest to bring Telangana for the people of Telangana and uh, make it uh, beneficial for them. Okay, sir. now uh, let's forget about KCR. Yes. Whatever he was wanting to achieve, has that been achieved in 10 years of his chief ministership? To what extent do you think it has been achieved? 50%, 75%, more than that or what? 
So for a new state like Telangana, I think uh, the results are uh, really good, sir. I would, uh, sir, in, I'm not able to put a percentage figure, sir, but uh, Telangana is now one of the fastest growing states and uh, it has also performed exceptionally well in various indices of Niti Aayog like Export Preparedness Index and also something like uh, Sustainable Development Goals and other such things, sir. Also, sir, the per capita income of the state has almost doubled uh, since 2014. Uh, also sir especially the IT sector is booming and uh, an ecosystem like environment has been created in Hyderabad and also growth is also now being decentralized sir. With all those convincing arguments because I can see you can speak very convincingly. It's your greatest quality. Thank you sir. Why people threw him out? Just give me that reason also. If he achieved all that successfully, shining examples, why he was he thrown out? Sir, firstly, I believe there are still gaps, sir. Uh, though the welfare schemes have been announced, I still think the Telangana has a long <coughs> way to go in terms of agriculture, industry and the employment of youth, sir, particularly. So that is a gap that they that has been found. And secondly, sir, there is, uh, it is natural that anti-incumbency will be there after two terms in the state, sir. So that is also one of the reasons why there was uh, uh, Expert. Okay, all right. That, that's uh, the those are political shenanigans which keep happening in uh, Indian poli uh, political scenario. Yes. Sir. Uh, now tell me, there is a word called Vishwa Guru. Yes. Sir. What is the meaning of this word? What is meant for someone who has never heard this? Sir, Vishwa Guru basically means what India can bring to the world table, sir. India can be a leader in various aspects, for instance there is governance, there is its Vasudeva Kutumbakam ideology, there is its voice for global south and other such things uh, and also sir India is one country which has uh, been able to balance its soft power and hard power very well sir. So these are some of the things that makes India a lot uh, beneficial for the world also. Yes, sir. Moving on, last question, Russia-Ukraine war, which side is to be blamed? Sir, I think one cannot put blame on either of the countries, okay. sir. I think it is, uh, I would say, the failure of the global community in order to reach to dialogue, diplomacy and solve out such issues, sir. That is one of the major uh, factors that has led to Russia-Ukraine war, sir. Sir, for instance, uh, Russia's concerns have not been able to adequately uh, resolve. So if it has not been resolved, Russia is within its means and legal means as per international law to attack its neighbor and take 20% of the land. Is that justifiable? Definitely not, sir. Uh, the percentage <coughs> of losses that is being done to the country and the world also and the suffering that is being uh, undergone by Ukrainians is not something that can be justified. So, sir, the only hope going forward is to encourage more dialogue and diplomacy between the Dialogue, countries. diplomacy, age and time is gone. That's why Russia said he will, Russia will sort it out on the battlefront. More than two years they haven't been able to do it. Actually, you also have read that it wasn't expected to run for more than two years. He was thinking in two months he will sort it out, he will take. His real intention, Russia's real intentions are clear to you. Can yeah. you tell me what is it? What is Russia's real intentions in this war that it is fighting for two years? What does it want? Sir, definitely Russia's intentions of uh, annexing parts of Ukraine and uh, re reinstate its position as a global power. However, sir, I believe incremental concessions have to be done by both sides, sir. For instance, West can come to the dialogue table and speak about how it will remove some of the sanctions that have been imposed. Yeah, and but I was asking what is Russia's uh, final goal in this war? Do you know or uh, if you don't know, you can tell me, I mean, that will move sir, on to something else. Sir, no, sir, I'm not exactly. Okay, right. Russia's goal is to assimilate entire Ukraine. Yes. That's why they are fighting for two years and more. Yes. Russian president says this is a matter of life and death. Yes. You know, they say the civilization of Russia emerged in Kyiv. Yes. Ukraine is the place where the Russian nationalism was born. You know, that kind of bonding. Anyway, you have done very well and uh, thank you very much. Thank you, sir.